What's up, teammates? I'm Carlo, and welcome to my vlog, where we talk about everything football. Ngayong araw, pag-uusapan natin ang pinakabagong collab ni Adidas with Pharrell Williams. I know you've heard of Pharrell Williams' human race brand, but now they've partnered with five football teams and turned their classic kits into human race kits. Isa na naman itong collection na for sure, hype is real. Dahil na rin siguro sa influence ni Pharrell, hindi lang sa streetwear, pati na rin sa pop culture. And for sure, yung football jerseys na to, familiar na rin kayo. Without further ado, let's kick off! Announcing the collection, Pharrell said, and I quote, History is what shapes the future. And sometimes, in order to look forward, first we need to look back. The most important part of the process with this collection was to learn of each club's legacies and, and how each defining moment of their histories were captured and preserved from a design perspective. Each of the new jerseys are symbols of the five clubs' legacies and a true celebration of the universality of sport. End quote. The first kit is the Bayern Munich home kit from the early 1990s. I don't have the exact 1990s jersey of Bayern Munich, pero ito yung similar template na meron din yung Arsenal from Adidas. So based sa sinabi ni Farrell regarding the collab, which shows the unity and universality of sport, na renew yung retro 90s jersey nila with this hand-painted design all throughout the jersey. Different from the other human race kits, the sponsor is yung current T-Mobile sponsor nila and sa back, yung human race branding. This is because gagamitin nito ng Bayern Munich sa kanilang German Cup game. So for our next kit, is the 1990 to 1992 Manchester United away kit. Famously worn by Manchester United's iconic Class of 92. As you can see, the iconic 1992 away kit is given the tie-dye treatment and because of the blue and white contrast ng tie-dye effect, nagkaroon ng mas colorful tones and mas nag-stand out yung jersey. You can also notice na yung may human race branding sa harap and wala siya sa likod since Ang Premier League teams like Manchester United and later Arsenal, they only use this collaboration jersey as pre-match jerseys. And that's the first half. Let's go sa halftime, teammates. And for our halftime, did you know the Premier League teams are strict in their kit assignments? So, as I've shown you earlier, yung Bayern Munich, meron silang T-Mobile, and of course, yung... Real Madrid rin, meron silang Emirates na current sponsor nila. However, yung Manchester United, human race din ang branding sa gitna ng t-shirt. And also, for Arsenal, human race din ang sponsor instead of the Emirates na lumalabas sa jerseys nila. This is because na strict ang um, guidelines ng English Premier League with what the jerseys teams use in their games. This is also the reason kung bakit ang Liverpool walang Club World Cup patch sa gitna ng jersey nila while other teams like Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, or Barcelona were able to use the Club World Cup patch in their league matches when they were the champion champions. If you guys like streetwear, just like this Pharrell Williams and Adidas collaboration, I'm wearing this t-shirt from Seventh Night's Black and White Collection. Check out their official website at 7thNight.ph or check out their official Instagram at 7thNight.ph. They also have the basic collection and their pocket collection. And that's half time. Let's kick off the second half, teammates. So let's start our second half with this Real Madrid 2014-2015 third kit. So the Pharrell collaboration still takes um, the design from the 1415 away kit, as you can see, nandito pa rin yung Dragon King and Dragon Bird elements. 
And of course, yung black base with white accents. So as you all know, the black and white aesthetic fits Yoji Yamamoto style and at the same time shows the Madridistas' dominance and performance in their recent years. It's also a great way to pay homage to a kit that is so successful in bringing a collaboration between Adidas and Y3. The Emirates sponsor is also seen here just like the Bayern Munich jersey. Kasi nagamit na nito sa kanilang La Liga match compared sa Premier League teams na bawal nilang gamitin yung Farrell collaborations. So that's all for the Real Madrid 14-15 Yoji Yamamoto remake. And if maalala nyo, ito rin yung top 3 kit ko in my top 5 hype football kits in my previous video. Our second to the last kit is the Juventus 15-16 away kit and the more fa f famously known as the Drake Jeep jersey. So from a design standpoint, the main features of the jersey is still there. The pink base with black stripes, the old Juventus logo, and of course the iconic Jeep with the white and pink stripe line in the middle. Ginamit nila ito sa game sa Serie A. Kaya yung human race branding ay nasa likod. So more or less, most of the Farrell collaborations show this hand-painted effect which I think fits nicely and also fits Juventus fashion, especially in Italy. This jersey also represents the first year of partnership of Adidas and Juventus way back in 2015 to 2016 season. And ito din yung year na nasecure nila yung domestic treble. And for our last kit that I'm gonna show you is the 1992 away kit of Arsenal, more famously known as the Bruce Banana. So I have last year's release na remake from the original 1990 kit. This new take on the jersey focuses more on the yellow and blue tones with the same tie-dye effect. Nawala na yung predominantly black na fade dito sa design and instead replaced by blue tie-dye design and keeping yung three stripe elements dun sa fade. As you can see, human race sponsor ang nasa harap and not their usual Emirates fly better dahil ginamit nila ito as their pre-match jerseys in their Premier League matches. The style and history is still in the kit. Sabi nga rin ni Farrell, na treasure nila yung jersey and reinvented it in a new way. Sa sobrang dami ngayon na magagandang Arsenal jerseys, hopefully makapag-bounce back sila sa form nila sa Premier League. At ayun na lahat ng 5 Human Race Kits collaborations na ginawa ni Farrell with Adidas. So, nagustuhan nyo ba sila? Totoo bang hype is real? For me personally, ang pinaka nagustuhan ko, ang Arsenal away kit and yung Juventus away kit. Siguro dahil 5 years pa lang itong jersey and yet, na-rebrand na naman ni Farrell and mas naging maganda pa rin ang kinalabasan. And at the same time, ang Bruce Banana ni Arsenal na for sure Arsenal fans may have thought ito na yung last design na ito pero nagawan pa siya ng paraan and the tie-dye effect looks nicely with the Bruce Banana. Thank you for watching teammates. If you want to be updated with my latest videos, don't forget to like and subscribe in my channel. Thank you again for watching.